it. We made it to the Dan's house. We made it to the Dan's house. <laughs> oh, so oh. James just yeah. bought a quad. James is coffee. Yeah. Alright, yep, James is just quad shopping. He just bought these. Picking out all of his options right now. He goes, Adam, what's your favorite color? I'm like, black. He's like, alright, I'll take black plastics. <laughs> Adam, does yours have an oversized tank? No? Okay, I'll take the oversized <laughs> tank. Then you said you were going to put Nerf Force on it too? Yeah. I can hardly believe are enjoying today's video so far. Right now, we got the LTR loaded in the back. We're on our way to Dan's place. We got this Magura clutch, and we got some Fox suspension that we're gonna put on the LTR. Alrighty, guys, just got to Dan's house. Now it's time to get this thing unloaded and start doing some upgrades. Alrighty, guys, just got the LTR unloaded. Now it's time to install this clutch. Yeah, what do you think of that clutch pull? Seems a little, uh, yeah. little tight. Uh, yeah. I've tried lubing the cable a couple times. I don't know if it's just getting old or what, but. They just get dirty and they're so close to the exhaust. I was changing cables all the time on mine, kind of one of those things. One thing you can do, just pick that one up and pick that one up right off the bat. I mean, I can scale somewhere around here. But yeah, that's a lot lighter. You can see the needle bearings actually came apart in there. Jeez. So. Yeah, it's clapped. Oh yeah. Those just look so bad. Well, that's the thing, there's nothing you can really do with that. You yeah. can take some scotch bright, clean it up, or It doesn't get really it. make a difference. Yeah, exactly, yeah. take it all apart and powder coat them, but what's that really gonna do for you? You want to jump on that real quick? Sure. Oh, maybe that might be staying on here. It already feels different from what I'm used to. The front's down a little bit. I'll put a little bit more air in the front and bring them up a hair. It's about even right now. It's diving a little bit in the front. But... Ride height. Stay in mode or sit? Yeah, sit. It's fine. Yeah, I got half inch right now, so that should be fine for now. Alright, so we just got the new Fox shocks on, all set up, and uh, yeah, up next is the clutch. I wish there was a way to show you guys how tight this feels. I mean, like, a, a before and after test. I was going to say there's fishing scales or something. Yeah, right. Like, like this is, out. yeah, with one finger, this is no bueno. Pretty much what we'll do is get the seat, cover, fuel pump. Okay, saber. Get all that stuff off. We're gonna run the line on this side, up here, and then up through there, so we can leave the front fenders on, but everything else has to go. Hmm. Oh wow, <laughs> that's some mud. Power washer didn't get in there. It might have something to do with your clutch not moving too. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. So yeah, pretty much you can see your arm right here just caked in mud. Up next, just take the front plastics off. So we just undid the front clips and yeah. 
what's this oh. called that you're disconnecting or? Uh, just dis disconnecting the high pressure line from the injector. The injector's down here, but now we can just kind of spin this up out of the way and move the tank out. That was just one of the vent lines. And just disconnected that for the fuel gauge. Clamp your lines, kids. We're just shutting off the fuel right here. You do that with a screwdriver. This is a regulator, and then yeah, that's just nasty. Your line that's on the pump. Okay, it's one that goes to the bottom of the regulator. So we'll just pull those both down and out for now. Just give us room. Take that there cover off. So up next, we're just. Disconnecting the clutch cable, right? Yeah. Wanna do some cleaning? <laughs> the toothbrush. Yeah, so I just pulled this little little end off the cable there, push it back through out of the holder. Yeah, they have a little 90 degree bend to them, so oh, that's right. they hook pretty easily on everything else. <laughs> There she is. The cable worked. It has a little more resistance than it should, but it does work. Okay, so it's probably just so, the mud was my main. Yeah, the mud. A little bit of that. Somewhere, nothing. Yeah, first thing I want to do is spin this. I'm just going to loosen that up and spin this so it comes out of this side, mainly to keep this away from the exhaust. Okay. Put it on the other side of the quad. Let's try that for now. I just tried to. Do it without getting any air in the system. And it's coming back this way, so I spun the line to come out this way. Gotcha. So when it's on there, we can route it on this side of the quad, away from the exhaust. Cool. Which, the way they say in the instructions is put it right where the stock one was, but I have went through a couple cables already, no matter how far I tried to zip time over. Mm -hmm. So what we'll have to do also is uh, for this little rod, I guess we'll call it, it doesn't fit down here whenever we have that end piece on. So I'm just going to take a flathead screwdriver, open this up, and then just open this up, just pretty much put it in there and turn a little bit okay. to uh, right. fit that in there. And then also back here, at that clamp, I'm going to open that up a little bit to fit this piece in there, which just goes over and sits there. So oh, okay. it's a little too tight yeah. the way it is, so I just open it up with a screwdriver, like I said, just put it in and turn it. Same thing, but just try not to break this because this is a lot thinner. All right, so now that we know that's all going to fit down there, it's time to get the line fed through. And it's just back up through the top bracket there and above the rad. And putting it on that side, away from the exhaust. Far away from the exhaust so I can get it. Yeah, and this will be in here. Okay, right. We might have to move this arm still, but if we get that in there with this line coming this way, yep. we'll tuck it up behind the fuel pump, behind all this stuff up here, and then follow its route up there. Play, but when it's sitting where it likes to be, with this arm, we'll put it roughly in the center already, just so there is that little bit of play to pull it back out. Okay. And have that so it's not fully tightly wound the whole time. I think that calls for six millimeters of play. But roughly that's where this arm should be and you just have to make sure that this is actuated the whole way over so if you take this out and you spin it like that and put it on it's not going to work you have to spin it counterclockwise the whole way in to engage the clutch and then if so i just find the tooth take that in there so it sits about halfway for when we put that in um so we can go ahead and tighten this one back up and i have a feeling we're going to be taking those out so what we'll do is we'll put this piece in with a bevel, put that up there so it's sitting in. Yeah, so we'll clamp that back down a little bit before we're done. These two 10 millimeters, take those out, we'll hook everything up as assembly and then just bolt those back down. Yeah, exactly. That'll give you much working room. All right, so now that that's out, it's 
You can easily put it together. I'll go in with that piece we bent out so that fits there. Put that back in. As long as the shock's not rubbing it, the shock, shock will be moving a bunch. So we'll zip tie this pretty much up behind the fuel pump, out back pretty much to this wire here. And then we might come on this side of the wire somewhere, or we might take it back under here because that black panel that sits down here for the fuel housing comes right in this area. But other than that, this is pretty much all hooked up, and you can see there's some play. You pull it out. I think they want like six to ten millimeter there of play, but mm -hmm. that way you have play. And then technically, right now the clutch should work. So coming up here, yeah, and there everything's working, and you can feel the resistance there. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Oh, one finger, no problem. <laughs> you blow on that. It'll, yeah, I don't know amazing. if I'm more excited about that or the shocks. A whole new machine now. Exactly. Uh, number one goes there. Keeps it away from the I'm shock. Just, you have to watch out in the LTRs. This wire, a lot of people will bolt the case saver back on and pinch. Oh, uh, yeah. And that's just for your neutral light there. But yeah, so make sure you tuck that back down behind before you put that in there. The same with this one. This one has a little bit more clearance, but that one, everybody seems to pinch those if you don't pay attention. switch to above it right for where this housing is so you can still get to your shutoff mm -hmm. and everything down here. Yeah, just throw the plastics back on and that should be it. Yeah, that was definitely good. 